we will say welcome to our huge crowd this morning. Yay! <laughs> and uh, if you're ever in Phoenix, you people out there, stop in and see us. The Phoenix Seventh-day Baptist Church. And we're a happy group. All right. Uh, I guess we should start with prayer. And if you'd bow your heads, I'd appreciate it. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your son. And we thank you for loving us. You could have left us on this earth and purple away. But you love us and we love you. And we can't wait till you come and get us and take us home. All these things I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. We have our first hymn. Where's our choir director? Oh, here she comes. I'll be doing the scripture and the prayer for you guys today. Uh, so our scripture is Matthew 26, 28. This is my blood. Just pour it out for the forgiveness. I have another little song that uh, I heard the other day, and I just love it. And I'm going to read it to you. We won't sing it. But uh, it just touched me. One day he'll come. We'll stand face to face. Come lay it down. Because it might be today. There's time. The time is right now. There's no need to wait. Your path will be washed. By rivers of grace. Oh, come, Jesus, come. We've waited so long for the day you return to heal every hurt and right away every wrong. We need you right now to turn this around. Deep down, we know. This world isn't our home. Come, Jesus, come. Come, Jesus, come. Isn't that neat? Kind of says everything in one little song. So does our, uh, our, our songs we sang. Um, what is the essence of life? The scripture says, the life thereof, which is the blood. But Eason uh, talks about it in Genesis uh, 9 4. We should not eat the blood. And if you killed somebody, your blood will be set in the face of God. And his face will be against you. The life of the flesh is in the blood. Blood makes an atonement. When I was a kid, I always wondered, what, why, why blood? It's uh, so strange. Why not just the whole body? Get rid of the person. But he requires the blood. I don't know. But then the more you study it, the more you understand. The blood makes an atonement for our souls. If you had a sacrifice in those days, you were killing a little lamb, and the blood ran out onto the ground, God even says you have to bury that with dirt. I didn't know that. And if you got blood on your clothes, you were to wash your clothes. And if you didn't wash your clothes, the Bible says you are a sinner. 
That kind of shocked me. When Jesus was having the Last Supper, he said, Drink you my blood, and you will have my life in you, and you will be raised up in the last day. That's when we let God dwell in us and we in Him. I always love that. I and you and you and me. That's what I want. I want Him every day of my life to be in me. And I want to be in Him. Christ's blood is the New Testament and was shed for our sins. We didn't need a lamb anymore. He is our lamb. When you think about the body, our bodies, you breathe in oxygen, which gives oxygen to our blood. Our liver, it cleans the blood. Our bodies make blood cells to replace the old cells in our body. Our heart, it moves the blood. The blood helps us grow. The blood is our life. We must have Jesus' blood in us. When we have his blood in us, we are then forgiven of our sins. Jesus did not sin. He became our sacrifice. Let's think about uh, miracles that happen about blood. The woman that touched Jesus' robe was healed of her blood. I don't know if she had leukemia, but they, they say she had a blood disease. She was healed. How about when we look to Egypt? Moses and Aaron go down to the river and he put his rod into the river and it turned to blood. It wasn't just the, the river. It was throughout the whole land of Egypt. They may have wells and fountains and all of a sudden it all turned to blood. They had no water to drink. How about the uh, sixth seal in Revelation 6.10? The blood cries out to the Lord. How long, O Lord, when will you revenge our blood? He goes on to say the sun will become black and the moon became as blood. And these are just a few things. You can look in your concordance and on and on about blood. It, uh, it was uh, interesting. We can look at uh, Revelation 11.6. The two witnesses. They can turn water into blood. And they will smite the earth. So many think it's going to be uh, wonderful, beautiful when Jesus comes. Well, it will be when he comes, but before that, it's going to be very, very bad. The earth will be giving earthquakes. The sun will be black. People will hate you because of Jesus' name. You can read that in Revelation 7, 14. The believers that come out of the great tribulation 
they will have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb. Who is that Lamb? That Lamb is Jesus. How about John uh, one first John one seven? We are to walk in the light. Who is the light? Jesus. He is the light. He is the light in the light, being that he is with his Father. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. No, my sermon is not very long, but uh, I'd like to pray now. Thank you, Father, for your Son, Jesus, who died for us, so we can be with you and in your family again. Come, Jesus, come. Amen.